Morning Pinellas County residents that are still struggling after Hurricanes Helene and Milton are getting some help from the community. Today, the Juvenile Welfare, Welfare Board is holding a hurricane food drive through for those who lost everything in those storms. 10 Tampa Bay's Nick Voltura joins us live in Clearwater. Nick, events like this, they are taking place almost every day, and it really shows community resiliency during these difficult times. Yeah, you know, Jenny, it's really been an all hands on deck approach because so many people were impacted, you know, right here in Pinellas County. It's really been devastating. So many people on the barrier islands, their homes were washed away. There's so many people homeless right now and even down the road in Clearwater, right on Drew Street, the state departments, they were all flooded out. There's people living in the parking lot. So events like these are really making a huge impact. I'm here with Beth Howden, the CEO of the Juvenile Welfare Board. We have this drive through event going on today. Just what are, what are you guys doing and just how important is this really just help people get back on their feet? Well, we're doing a lot of things throughout the entire community, but today we have a, a, a food distribution event in conjunction with the St. Petersburg Free Clinic. The people who will drive through here probably lost seven to ten, ten days of work, um, probably lost electricity, lost every, all the food in their refrigerator, so this is a fresh start for them. They'll be getting uh, up to uh, 400 families will be getting up to 52 pounds of food each. So it includes a lot of healthy stuff, not just canned things and so on. So they'll get milk and, and meat and, and fruit and on and on. They'll also, if they're families with infants, they'll also get things like diapers and wipes and things that don't get distributed anyplace else. And you know, you see it going on right behind us. I mean, you know, we, we step out for a second, you can see they got fresh fruits, fresh produce, everything that they're packing right here. You can see this army of volunteers. It's only going to be getting bigger and bigger, and we're expecting a large crowd. And really, all you have to do is be a Pinellas County resident to be able to come here and get that hand up. Correct. Absolutely. Just have to be from Pinellas County and we'll we'll, we'll be distributing food and so on until it runs out. And that's the one thing. So anybody can come down. This starts at 830. The line starts. We've already seen people lining up already, even though it's not even, you know, it's an hour away. So really, people are going to be here. You do expect it to be busy. Absolutely. And it, you can tell when people are coming at 830 for a distribution that starts at 10 a.m., that's some indication of the extraordinary need that we have in our county for all of these things. So that's what's going to be happening is right here at the Juvenile Welfare Board. You can see they are packing that food, getting it ready to go. There's also going to be baby items distributed as well for families who need that help. For right now, reporting live in Pinellas County, Nick Volturo, 10 Tampa Bay. Nick, thank you so much. Small